I don't know if you believe in ghosts or not, but I do. I strongly believe last night what I saw was not just my imagination. I took the job of the night guard in a small factory. The factory was located out of the township amidst green fields. There was an old graveyard on the opposite side of the factory. Since childhood, I have been a brave child, so the graveyard didn't bother me to take this job. There was a small room in front of the gate of the factory. They gave me the room to spend the night. My room had a small window from which the graveyard was perfectly visible. Last night, I was lying on the bed and watching some funny videos on my phone. I kept the window open for ventilation. Even lying on the bed, I could see the empty road and the huge, rusty gate of the graveyard. I dozed off while watching videos. Suddenly, I woke up hearing the rusty metal sound. It felt like someone opened the graveyard's gate. I looked at my phone. It was 12 a.m. at night. I got up on the bed to look outside. Surprisingly, the gate of the graveyard was wide open. I thought to myself, who can enter the graveyard at such an hour? But I couldn't see inside the graveyard well. I decided to mind my own business and, and went back to bed. My eyes were almost ready to fall asleep when I heard a woman's crying voice. The sound was coming from the graveyard. This time, I couldn't ignore any more thinking someone might be in trouble. So I took my flashlight and came out of my room. I opened the factory gate and came out of the premises and started to walk towards the graveyard. The road was empty as very few vehicles use this shortcut. When I reached the graveyard gate, I heard the crying sound once again. I said in a loud voice, Hello, ma'am? Is there any problem? The cry grew louder after I asked the question. I entered the graveyard and flashed my light all around me. The graveyard was really big. Seeing so many graves in front of me gave me goosebumps. I couldn't help but think all these dead bodies were once living people. I couldn't see anyone as far as my eyes went. The crying sound stopped too. I started to walk inside. When I reached the middle of the graveyard, I heard whispering sounds. It, it, it felt like two to three people were talking in a very low voice. I asked again, is anybody here? This time, I heard a woman's voice coming from a nearby bush. Help me, the woman said. I could tell from her voice that she was in terrible pain, and, and I said, Where are you, ma'am? Are you all right? The woman again said in the same voice, Help me! I'm here! I realized that the sound was coming behind the bush, so I flashed my lights and went to look. As soon as I reached there, I saw a woman with long black hair sitting on the ground. Her clothes were dusted and torn out in many places. It felt like she was hurt by someone or had an accident. She was wearing a white shirt and a blue skirt. I could see her knees bleeding. There were even scratches all over her legs and feet. She was weeping in a soft voice while sitting on the ground. I couldn't see her face as it was covered with her black hair. I flashed the light on her and said, Ma'am, are you all right? What are you doing alone in this graveyard at such an hour? The woman didn't turn her face and kept sitting there while weeping. After a few moments, she said, Help me! I, I can't get up! I gave her my hand to help her stand up. As she grasped my hand, I could see her pale, dirty fingers. Also, her hand felt extremely cold. After she stood up, I could see half of her face as the other half was still covered with her hairs. She looked at me and with her big wide eye and said, Thank you.
I replied awkwardly, "Do you want me to call the cops? Where do you stay?" She looked at the graveyard and replied, "I am looking for my fiance. Have you seen him?" No. Her behavior started to really feel weird to me. I thought she might have been in some shock or something bad might have happened to her. So I said, "Please come with me. I will call the cops for your help." We started to walk towards the exit of the graveyard. As soon as we reached the gate, I turned back, and what I saw made my skin crawl in fear. The woman was standing at three to four hands' distance from me, but she wasn't standing on the ground. It looked like she was floating in the air. Her face was down to the ground, while her hairs were floating in the air. The moonlight made her look terrifying. I, I wanted to speak, but no sound came out of my mouth. I, I was covered in sweats. I started to step back slowly when suddenly she lifted her face. And the horror unfolded. I saw blood coming down from her eyes. Her throat was slit and bleeding too. She laughed with her horrifying face and said, "Do you see my fiance? He dumped my body here after murdering me." I couldn't stand there any more. I screamed out loud and started to run towards my room. I could hear her spine-chilling laughter coming from the graveyard. I entered my room, locked the door, and immediately called the factory owner. The owner told me to get back home if I didn't feel safe to spend the night in the factory. I did the same. I drove away within five minutes. Today, I heard from a worker of that factory that the graveyard is said to be haunted by a woman's spirit. Many security guards before me complained about seeing a woman wandering in the graveyard, weeping and crying in the middle of the night. I am never going back to that place ever again.